Hello, it's another one of my book ones. Today I'm going to talk about exaggeration. Now, there are some people who have been reading some of my works, um, professionals, non-professionals, whoever I can get, really. And uh, some of them, I would say the wrong ones, of course, have said that um, some of my characters and some of my other you know, situations, scenes and settings are a little bit too exaggerated. Uh, this has been said a number of times to me. Now, um, stuff I've put on the web so far, yeah, it's pretty exaggerated. That's mainly because I'm a bit of a coward and I haven't yet dared put any of my really proper stuff on yet. But uh, I will. Honest. Promise. Cross my fingers, hope to die. Whatever, I will, yeah. So, exaggeration. Uh, I thought I'd start with a visual example, and here it is. See? Now, you, I mean, what I've seen of American films especially, those bright lights might be a bit of a norm, so a little bit of a context here. So you said there's nothing, no lights at all, no lights at all, and then <sighs> Vegas, Vegas on a street in Coventry. <laughs> it's crazy. What kind of people live in a house like that? What kind of people deck their house with that much? Shit. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's just so exaggerated. If I was to describe a house even something a little bit like that, then people would say to me that um, that it was a far too exaggerated form, that I'd gone overboard with the description. But here we are, Coventry, one of the dullest cities in the world, and it's happening. There are people that do these exaggerated things. So when you do exaggerate something, yeah, you know, I wonder, are you exaggerating much more than real life is exaggerated? There's another house which uh, is very special to me, and I want you to think, who would live in a house like this? So, here we are at a house that looks like it was made. Fictional characters. In fact, it looks like it was made for The Sims. If you're a Sim and you have too much money, this is what you do. Look at that tape free. Look. Hey, where, where? Look at that. Look, look, look. Every single bush has been sculpted. Sculpted, sculpted. Ooh, in the, look, the little balcony with sculptions. Sculptions, that's not a real word, but hey. So. The question we've got to ask ourselves is a very, very simple one. Who lives in a house like this? Fictional characters, that's what I'd say. See? Look all them cold bushes! Yeah, real people can't live there. Fictional characters, surely. So now my response when somebody says to me, you know what, your fiction's quite exaggerated. The real world's quite exaggerated also. Tell me what you think. Or send in some more crazy exaggerated houses. I was going to show some crazy exaggerated people, but I thought that they'd be harder to sneak up on than houses. Next week is people, and the skills of people watching by an expert, my mum, who also filmed the house for me, which was very nice. So, cheers. Bye-bye.